Welcome. Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy, four nerds, by nerds, hang out with a couple nerds. I'm Ted. I'm Ryan. Today we have a GM911 from, what is it, Dooms Jesus? Doomsday Jesus 84. <laughs> 84. And where did the magic come from? If you have a GM911, uh, you can submit it to us at nerdarchy at gmail.com or in the GM911 section of our forum. So the magic is going to come from this video. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have new campaign, new world. Uh, magic doesn't exist yet. He wants to have magic exist, but whoever learns it first is going to be a little bit dangerous because... Magic can kill you! Because magic can kill you. Yeah. I mean, you could literally... Th this is like... How you introduce it isn't really that important. A uh, strange NPC, demonic power, weird book. Divine. Divine, you know, yeah, divine being handed down. All that's really easy to do. Now, if you want to have some kind of unpredict something unpredictable about it, you could do something with uh, chaos magic. Mm. There's a table for it already. Right. And one yeah. of the options is blowing you up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the the kind of premise of his, of his question is he wants to start a new campaign and be able to build out small. Like, the the idea of adventure so adventuring gonna, hasn't really been, been a thing that people did so of, we're yeah. talking farmers villages and and the like so we're also probably going to be dealing with well, you know, let's face it that's how all the stories start yeah. like for the for the most part when you read a book it's not oh this is an adventure and now we go <laughs> an adventure for you to read about no it's you know people are living humble their beginnings. lives humble right. beginnings yeah. and, and then things happen and then it builds out from that that that's not even relevant like that's just going to happen right and, and you know and I, we recommend start small build outward that's what you're doing perfect you know to me the biggest problem is hey, he wants to figure out how to incorporate magic for the very first people that discover it. so here's the thing with your your warlock and your sorcerer, like they're just kind of born with it. It just happens, you know. It just or maybe it's it just, Maybelline. It's, or yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> Maybelline. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. So, but yeah, like your your warlock, they just make a deal with somebody. They cut a bargain with somebody that's kind of freaky or abnormal. Uh, sorcerer, they it just comes into being. It manifests in their teenage years, and they start growing hair in funny places. <laughs> um, so, or they could be younger, and magic starts to happen. But so really, the only thing that's kind of it, and holy magic with clerics, like, well, if you have divine beings, then you have clerics. So the only question mark really is like, how do wiz how do wizards start wizarding, right? So there's there's several different options that I see. Number one, as you pointed out, you know somebody can come down and bestow it upon them if magic is if you want to bring magic to the world and you have a deity of magic unbeknowingly to that person you could have someone te you know teach that to them that is an avatar or a being of divine that says okay well I'm going to take you under my wing in secret and I'm going to have you bring Wizarding magic to this world, you know, book magic. Whatever or just you have them be a hermit and they discover the secret place or, that has the fountain of magic and they have visions. Or maybe the visions tell them how to cast magic. Or maybe the because the hermit thing, um, you know, maybe there's a cavern with like all the spells are inscribed on the walls and like that's where you go. Well, like there's this mysterious location. It's up for you to decide how it got there. But there's this cavern, the Cavern of Wonders, which I think is from Aladdin, the Disney That's one. That's the Cave of Wonders. Cave of Wonders. Much but anyway, different. No, but absolutely. anyway, like, so in this cavern, like, all the spells in existence are inscribed on it. And so, like, one dude goes there and starts systematically... He's trying, he's trying to figure things out. It's like, oh, he likes puzzles. He's yeah. very interested in knowing what this is. And over time... He figures out, oh, well, if I do this in a certain way, I can manipulate this energy that's that's out there that I've touched on, but I don't really know about. And now, boom, I've yeah. created fire out of thin air. Yeah. So, I mean, that would maybe be one way to bring it out. And the interesting thing about, um, well, any sort of kind of pseudo medieval culture is that unless you have magic that does this, like every single book was written by hand. Mm -hmm. So the dissemination of magic is a super slow process and egregiously expensive too, as anybody who's <laughs> played, played a low leveled wizard and your campaign's not filthy with coin. It, it's also exasperated in the D&D style of magic in the sense that even though you find a spell book with spells in it, the only way to really learn them is to be a wizard and retranscribe those spells. Money, money is, it, is yeah, the, the pretty much in your own, you know, in your own words, and you actually have to like go through a discovery process. It's not enough to just read what another wizard wrote. Yeah. You basically have to uh, you have to re experience its creation uh, on into your own spell book to. 
become become even able to cast those spells. No, isn't, isn't that isn't that really you just putting the fifty gold per level into the? There's book? a slot. You're like yeah, yeah, coin slot. Put my the... book has a coin slot. But so there was a thing that an idea that I'd been playing around with a, another campaign world that I was tinkering at. Um, where magic was actually learned because it was stolen by the spontaneous casters of the the sorcerer and the warlock, where they went through a process of transcribing their magic and written down, and like other people got access to it. Eventually, wizards learned how to interpret that into being able to through uh, intense study to be able to do wizardly magic. So you could have the starting point of that transcribing happening. The only thing is it's going to be quite some time before that hits scale where a lot of, you're going to have wizarding societies basically. So do you want to wait like generations before any of your characters can play wizards? I mean, or can you say that some of that's already started to happen and existed? Or maybe it exists in parts of the world that the characters haven't visited yet. Yeah. Right. You know, so, or secret things. Or, there's definitely ways you can, you can put it into the game. I mean, I've, I feel like we've given several suggestions. Um, and, and I'm sure in the comments below you're going to find a ton more. Uh, go check there. While you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. You can tweet at us, at Nerdarchy. You can also uh, check us out over on Instagram. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.